Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that video. So my friend just gave me this frame. I was like, oh, this would be a sweet backup Cinewoop for my real estate gigs. I noticed on the Beta FPV website, they don't have O3 Air Unit version yet. So I decided to just make my own. You can download these prints I've done on Thingiverse. I'm just gonna quickly walk you through what I did. So I made this mount here. It kind of just like goes on this, like the standoff semi posts. So, and then it's kind of dampened. It can bounce around and stuff and it's got a little bit of protection. And if you use a Nano RX, you know, I made this really cool X brace. You can just zip tie your Nano RX there. And if you have like a mini T antenna, you can stuff it under there. You can see what I did there. And for the antenna, I modified the beta FPV file. Um, so right now it's like a stubby. So I just shoved it all the way in so it can reach the air unit, the air unit I put inside. Just letting you know though, stubby like this with the battery, it, it blocks the signal a little bit, so you can't go too far. When I have time, I'll probably try to put the antenna through this hole instead, so maybe it can rise up higher. And another thing I modified was um, the battery strap holder. So now it doesn't rise up over the FC bolt over there. You know, it sits flush. To access the O3, unfortunately, there's some shady things you gotta do. Yeah, so I, I took a Dremel and shaved the plastic down so you can access the USB port. Um, that's totally not ideal, but you know, if you wanna stuff an O3 air unit in there, then that's what you gotta do. And inside, I just put some foam padding so it doesn't vibrate too much. And, and then uh, my FC has like a foam pad sticker on it as well, just in case, just to hold the O3 air unit in. And in order to access the USB-C, you actually have to unbolt the motor here. So it's not the best setup. And, but you know, it will do as a backup. Cinewoop, I zip tied the XT30 here. So it doesn't, you know, wiggle around too much. Every time you plug it in, it won't like rip off the pads. Cause I notice AIOs like start lifting this too much. Like the pads will start lifting slowly. So if you zip tie, it'll be nice and strong. And that's it guys. Go ahead and modify the prints too. They're on Thingiverse. I'll put the link in the description below.